Hey guys, I'm Dave and I'm super excited to be finally starting the 3D project that I've been talking about for ages, like literally. Uh, and it is of course the 3D print of BB-8 from Star Wars. So if you don't know who BB-8 is, it's this guy here. There he is, this is a little mini toy version of him. Um, and uh, yes, I'm going to be making a one-to-one -one scale of him uh, on this printer. So he's going to be, the ball is going to be about this big, his head's going to be like this sort of size, he's going to be a significant thing uh, when I finished. I've actually started right now, as you can see the printer is printing away, you can probably hear it a little bit on the mic, it's pretty noisy. Um, and that first piece there is actually this little um, hollow projector, if you've seen the movie, uh, on his head. So we're, we've already started, we started. So this is going to be a very long project. It's going to take me a long time to do this. Obviously because the prints take a long time as well as um, actually constructing it when it's all done because this is all in sections. Obviously the printer's only a certain size. Um, the dome on his head is, is like this sort of size. So I have to print it in like three sections. Then I've got to put it together and sand it and paint it and finish it and make it look normal and you know, decent. Um, so it's, it's going to take a long time which is great because that means you've got some content that you you can watch on a rolling weekly, monthly basis. Um, I've got, I printed this off. <laughs> this is basically the instruction booklet for this project. There is 91 pages of information here and it's all about um, settings for the printer, different types of printing material, tips and tricks and the cost of it. Print files, I mean there's like, um, uh, images of the body. There's just so much stuff here. Um, I, I think it was like 30 pages in before I actually get to the bit about printing, actual printing. So there's a ton of information for me to go through. Uh, so I'm really, really quite excited about this. So the idea is the end products will be a full BB-8, but I'm not just going to finish there. I'm going to get proper lighting inside of him. I'm going to have his head moving and all that sort of stuff. We also have access to audio files so that he can um, talk and all that sort of stuff. So um, once we've got to a certain point in the build, I'm going to start doing the electronics for it as well. Uh, so this is a big journey for me because obviously I've never done 3D printing at this scale before. This is all new to me. So um, the videos I'm going to be doing are going to be like vlog style. It's, you're going to be following my journey essentially on me learning to do this and actually doing it at the same time. So that includes doing the whole of the 3D printing and all the electronics. And um, I've, I've thought long and hard on what to do. Now there's plenty of people out there who are part of the BB-8 Builders Club, which is what I've joined. The BB-8 BB Builders Club um, is, is a global thing, but I've joined the UK one. Um, and there are plenty of people on there who are doing the exact same thing, but for personal reasons, you know, not, not for a YouTube sort of thing. Um, and they've decided to make a BB-8 that is uh, what they call screen ready. And that means it'll move around and roll around and all that sort of stuff. Now I don't have the level of technical and engineering knowledge to be even be able to do that. It's just, I just won't be able to do it. But I thought a better way of doing things is because I've got a lot of viewers, I've got a lot of fans. I like to go to shows, people like to meet me and all that sort of stuff. I thought I'll make a static version which still has all the lights and it talks and all that sort of stuff and that you can take pictures with. So instead of having rolling around, you won't be able to go near it. You've got to stay away and all that sort of business. I thought, well, we'll do a static one so you can actually come and get a picture with it and all that sort of stuff and even communicate with him because I'm going to do the electronics so that he'll respond to voice commands and all that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, I also decided that we'll have the head so it moves. So he's not just completely still, you know, because that would be, you know, <laughs> it won't be as good, will it? Uh, so yes, it's a huge undertaking. It's going to be a long project, um, and it's printing away quite nicely there. I'm really excited. Can you tell? <laughs> um, so uh, another thing I wanted to talk about. Obviously, I mentioned in a previous video that I have refreshed my Patreon, and part of that refresh is um, for this project because this stuff. Hang on a minute. This stuff is the printing filament, PLA, uh, is not cheap. Now I do have a stack here to get me going. I've got black, I've got orange obviously because 
there's a lot of orange parts oh there we go so there's an orange one and the rest of these are white but i don't have enough um i need more now obviously i'm going to pay for it myself but um if you so wish to help me with this project uh, my patron is set up uh, with loads of different tiers of things that you can do and and all that sort of thing and um, so if you would like to help out with just supporting me in general not just this project then please do check out my patreon there's a whole bunch of stuff that i've updated it with on there and uh, i really appreciate it if you do um so so there we go guys this video was just an introduction to the project as you can see it is underway it's happening uh, this particular print has got another 50 minutes to go uh, and it's the little hollow lens so when this is done i'll just attach um a little bit to the end of this video so you can see it the rest of the videos that i do after this one um i'll include like time lapses of the parts printing and stuff like that um i can set up my gopro which can film for like five hours straight or something like that so that will film a good chunk of time lapse um, and i'll include those in the videos in the future uh, so i'm going to keep the titles similar so you can find them nice and easy um and maybe when i do the thumbnails i'll have something in the thumbnail uh, that's consistent that's in all the thumbnails but I'll make like the actual thumbnail a little bit different in each one like depending on what part I printed I guess I don't know I'll figure it out don't you worry about it I'll worry about it all right guys thanks for watching I hope you're as excited as I am and obviously you'll get to meet this uh, BB-8 one day if you come to a show in the UK then um, I'll hopefully have it with me <laughs> so that's cool Alright guys, so I'm going to leave it there, I've rambled on enough, and I will catch you all next time. Bye!